Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm reviewing the new Olive Ab Winter 2023, 24? Which one is it? <laughs> Winter 2023, 24 collection. This collection was sent to me compliments of Olive Ab. You guys probably already know I have a discount code with Olive Ab Polish. That code is BIV10 for 10% off. I greatly appreciate you guys for using it if you choose to do so. So there are six polishes in this collection. I absolutely love the brushes on all of F polishes and the formulas are always perfection. So without further ado, let's get right into these polishes. Okay, you guys, first up in this beautiful collection, we have Signature. Signature is described as an Oxford blue cream and this is one of my favorites from the collection. This is a super easy two coater and I love that this blue is a true navy blue. So it's not like a blue that looks black or too royal blue. It's just the perfect navy blue. So you'll see in comparisons that it's really hard to find a blue that looks like this and this one is fabulous and it's a must have. Here you can see how the polish looks in different lighting. So we have it outdoor lighting in the sun and then indoor lighting under my studio lighting and then here you have it indoors in my kitchen with no special lighting at all. And comparisons. Here we have Olive Av Moth. So you can see the differences in the blues there. And then Essie Booties on Broadway is a little bit more towards a blacker blue. And then Essie Step Out of Line is as well. Next up here we have Essie On Your Mistletoes was actually a little bit more green. OPI Midnight Mantra was darker. And then OPI Duomo Days Isola Nights was more blue. Next up, we have Reflection, another absolutely gorgeous blue. Reflection is described as a navy blue shimmer. It's an easy two-coater, and it's so shiny. You guys, both of these blues are so shiny without a top coat. It's, they're just perfection. And this, the shimmer in this one is super subtle, but it's subtle enough to where you see it, and you notice that little something-something, and it's perfect. Here you can see how it looks in different lighting. So outdoor lighting in the sunlight, indoor lighting under my studio lights, and then here you can see how it looks in indoor lighting with no special lighting. So this is how you're going to see it on a daily basis. And then comparisons. Here we have Orly Kelly's Galaxy is more of a royal blue. Olive as signature, I wanted to compare these two just so you can see the two blues next to each other. So you can see how those compare. And then Olive Ave Coastal is much more of a royal blue. Next up, we have Icicle. Icicle is described as a gray holographic studded cream. And this is another two coater. And it's another absolutely gorgeous polish. You guys, Olive Ave has literally the best formulas ever. They are so good. Here you can see how the polish looks in different lighting. So outdoors in the sunlight, indoors in my studio lighting, and indoors with no special lighting. And I love this polish. Here you can see how it looks compared to OPI Peace of Mind, which doesn't have shimmer, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of how the gray tones in this polish look compared to other polishes. Then Olive Ab Storm and ILMP Sled Day. So you can see how those compare. Next up is Cozy. And this is the most perfect cozy brown ever. This is described as a coffee brown cream. It's opaque in two coats and it's another polish that's pure perfection. I was sure this was going to be a total dupe for Goldstone, so I do compare it to that polish. In my comparisons, here you can see how it looks in outdoor lighting in the sunlight, indoor lighting under studio lighting, and indoors with no special lighting, and comparisons. Here we have Olive Ab Goldstone. So you can see Olive Ab Goldstone is a lot more red tone, and then you can see how it compares to Orly Don't Be Suspicious and Olive Ab Copper. Next up, we have Essie No To Do, Essie Odd Squad, and Essie Lights Down Music Up, and Essie Jogature All Checked Out, OPI Brown to Earth, and Zoya Dion. So you can see how it compares to all of those absolutely stunning browns. 
Next up is Gratitude, another fave from this collection. Gratitude is described as a violet cream. And this is another one that is so, so shiny without a top coat. It's completely opaque in two coats and it's absolutely gorgeous on the nail. Here you can see it in outdoor sunlight, indoor studio lighting, and indoors with no special lighting. And comparisons, here we have Essie Underground Ball, Essie Kimono Over, and Essie Sights on Night Lights, so you can see how those compare. There are a few oldies but goodies there. Okay, and next up is this gorgeous white, appropriately named Snow. This is such an easy white to apply. This is an easy two-coater. It's so opaque, and I feel like a white like this is a staple in anybody's collection. It's perfect for nail art. This one is probably perfect for stamping as well. It's just a must-have for any nail polish collector, really. It's freaking phenomenal you guys here you can see how the polish looks indoors with no special lighting outdoors in the sunlight and comparisons i didn't compare it to a lot of whites because it's just plain old white but i wanted to compare it to olive ab calcite and cloudy just to show you guys how this white compares to other almost white so there you go all right guys what did you think of this collection let me know in the comments down below and then stay tuned i have lots more polishes coming for you guys thank you so much for watching hope you all have an absolutely fabulous morning afternoon evening whatever it is make it great all right love you guys bye